Hi, welcome. Uh, today I'm going to show you uh, some of the changes that occur in the new model of Aruba Access Point, the 500 series. And one of the main difference is the AP mount. The new 500 series not only doesn't come with an AP mount, but the, the mount change. As we can see here, this is uh, AP 515 and as you can see this is the new AP mount that it comes in the box so all, when you open the access point from the box all we you see is the uh, plastic wrap and this mount in the back so you have to buy a, a separate the, the, uh, the mount that you're gonna use so I was searching YouTube for different um, uh, videos on AP mounts and I couldn't find one so I got a hold of a few mounts so I, I want to share uh, this information um, I'm gonna show you first the uh, AP mount B that is used when you it's used when you want to mount the access point in, um, in the ceiling grid and the way you use this is uh, when it comes out of the box you will see these uh, two pieces and all you have to do is sliding together this uh, tab here hold the end and this ribbon here just make sure it's, in, it's uh, all the way in and it's locked as you can see here is this is the AP mount B 15, of six, uh, 15 over 16 inches uh, fifth of an inch 15 over 16 inch what that refers to is the size of the grid, right? So when you look at the ceiling and the uh, space between the tiles uh, is 15 over 16, then you know you need to use the AP mount C, uh, B. The AP mount C is the same model, it's just nine over 16, so it's smaller, so, but nothing changed. So this is the type of mount that you need to hang the uh, AP series, the AP 500 series, to the uh, ceiling. And you need a uh, strong mount, because I, as you, I, you can see here, this is the AP 535, and this is a beast compared to the AP 515. It's just heavy, it's uh, beefy, this is the uh, latest, strongest of the Aruba access point, and it does have the same mount. So you need to make sure that you know you use uh, the metal uh, bracket that you know you have to buy separate. Before in the uh, 300 series and 200 series, 100 series, you know 125, 225, 325 access point, they will come with the uh, plastic mount C type that you just lock in, and that was free. But now you have to buy those mounts separate. Um, and so this is the AP mount B uh, that you can use to uh, mount your access point. All you have to do is uh, you grab one piece and the uh, lip, you install it, you know, you slide it in in the, uh, in the ceiling grid and the other one as well. And then you just lock it there. Once it's locked and it's in the ceiling, it will not move. And then as you can see here, one end have the uh, the uh, the this lip here, and the other end have a little hole. So all you have to do is make sure that this area here line up with that uh, hole, so it can secure the access point. So all you have to do when once the access once the grid is in, is installed, you're gonna slide in the access point. And then at the end, you just move this lip, the, uh, the secure, and all the way in. As you can see, the pin went through, and then you secure the access point with the with the uh, with the screw. And now you have two points of attachment to make sure that this access point doesn't land somebody's head, right? And uh, to remove it, the same the same way you you pull the tab, and then you can slide it in, and then you have to screw the uh, the screw. Um, and you want to make sure uh, you have something, uh, especially for the 535, so heavy, and um, you might want to have another option. Now, 
the uh, so the AP mount B and C is the same type. The only thing that change is the size of the grid. Now the AP mount uh, D, as on David, yes D, is the same mount, the same mount, uh, the same size of a uh, 15 or 16, but it comes with an extra piece, and this piece what is used for is that if you're going to install if you're going to install the access point in an area where the wall is flat you can grab this mount attach the access point to the ceiling or to the wall and you have uh, an area where you're going to slide in the the mount so let me show you So the, the mount, so it comes this piece and the mount, the same way this, this is the wide area that goes to the ceiling grid. Now we'll go to this, this mount here, excuse me, this mount. We'll slide in. It's uh, dump proof. <laughs> So if you slide it in the opposite way, it will not get will get through because the uh, hole has to align so you can uh, uh, put the pin there and the screw in the middle. The hole has to align. But as you can see, the um, the application is this uh, is for when you need to uh, mount the access point to a wall, and then uh, you can use the AP mount DS and David because it, it will come with this extra piece that is very helpful to screw into a flat surface. Now, if you have an electrical box or a junction box, you can use um, the third option is the IP mount E as an echo. And this mount is, it comes this plate, so you can attach it. It has the arrow, so this will be to you know, the top of the junction box and um, you will mount it right to the to the to the uh, junction box and you can even attach it to the ceiling and what i like about this one it doesn't have you know multiple pieces right that you have to use it's just one single piece but it's the most expensive mount and in last that I, I i saw the p mount e less price is 35 dollars per month now so that will add up right if you have uh, you know a 500 piece deployment so you know we are, i'm working now on um in a 500 plus deployment and we are debating if we're going to use this mount um so this is this the cool thing about this is it can go attached to the junction box because it has these screws depending on the size these four screws or the or the end and all you have to do is, I will, you can use the 535 or the 515, are you going to use the 535? And all you have to do is grab the mount and slide it in the same way. You know, it was just slide in. And then at the end, all you have to do is pull the pin and then lock and then tie the screw. And this this will hold the the access point. The good thing about this mount is that it does have the the hole here for um, getting your Ethernet cable patched into the access point. Where the other mounts, like the AP mount B, you most likely will have to drill a little hole in, in the uh, tile to be able to pass that Ethernet cable to the access point. And in some deployment, they have acoustic tile, and then you have to ask permission for that. So the good thing about this is that if you want the access point may, uh, mounted to this middle of the grid, you can have a junction box, you know, the electrician can get you a pipe and put in the middle of the tile, and then you can place this one to the junction box, and it will look very uh, symmetrical in the middle of the tile, right? Um, and that I like, really, I really like that one. The way you know you look, I mean, not too many people look at the roof when they walk around, you know. But uh, if I 
I go to a hospital or any place, I'm looking around and I see the access point sometimes, you know, hanging half, halfway and it's not the proper way to do it. So just make sure you get the proper mount. And I hope this video was helpful, uh, you know, showing you the different type of mount and have a wonderful day.